Morning. We're out on a uh, marina today off the River Trent. It's mid-September, temperatures are dropping. And as they do at this time of year, the fish are hopefully moving in off the river into this marina. And this is why we're here. What we're after are the perch that, uh, that push in at this time of year, after the fry fish. And we're here to fish with them with a very special set of new lures just launched from Fox Rage, the new Ultra UV Micro range. So you guys no doubt will have seen, heard of, and hopefully used the range of micro lures that we already, already have. So like the, the Micro Fry, the Micro Spiky, the Micro Tiddler, and a couple of others. Oh, I thought I was getting a fish then. The, um, these lures are, I'll show you, a diminutive. They're designed for smaller fish, specifically for perch in most cases, but they will catch Xander and a few pike as well. But what's special about these ones, as with this one, is that they are UV active. They're part of the Fox Rage Ultra UV range. It gives them a special little edge when you're fishing with them. I'll explain more about that in a bit in terms of the, uh, the properties that the ultra UV reaction on these lures gives them, what edge it gives you fishing for perch. But at the minute, while the, the light levels are, are relatively low, we're gonna crack on and try and catch some fish. Wish us luck. Right, so I've just ducked a little perch, brought him in, and this pike has just absolutely smashed him. I don't really know what to do with it because it's quite a big pike. I've got a light rod, two to 10 grams, one of the new Pro TI Pros. I've got a very light braid on because I wanted it for casting, and this thing just came and belted it just as it was by my feet. Well, I've just seen him. It's a half decent pike. Whoa, whoa, see if we can get him in. <laughs> I'll go and get by the net, there he is. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, the good thing is the jigger, I can see just in the side of his, side of his mouth in the scissors. I might be in a bit premature going for the net already. Wow, okay. Oh, he's come off. The good news is, the perch, that must have been the most terrifying trip for this perch ever, being knocked by me and then smashed by that pike. But he looks relatively unscathed, luckily. Still got the lure in his mouth. Micro, UV micro tiller in there. You see that, as well down. We're fishing with a, a small, 3.5 gram jig head on a size four hook, perfect for these lures. Oh, he's got a little slash on the top of his head where the, he wouldn't come on out unscathed with all those teeth knocking about. He's got a little scar on his head, but something to tell the rest of them. What a, what a rush, what a rush for him. He's got a way uh, lightly there. Right, I'll pop him back. And we might actually move away from here because I don't want that happening again. That scared the absolute bejesus out of me. Right, I'll pop him back. The other factor that comes into play when you're choosing a, the right rod to fish for these, uh, these smaller perch is casting. Uh, now a lot of guys will fish for the, the, the micro perch down the canal and they'll dibble down the edge. I've been doing that myself today. You don't need to cast around for that. You just drop it down the edge, jig it up and down, get the bites. Sensitivity is obviously an issue with that. So this rod covers that. But in a water like this, where you've got to make a decent chuck out into the middle of there, or we've got other arms, and you want to reach the deeper waters in these areas, you need something that can fire out a light, a light jig head and lure like that. Now, if you go too heavy, if you went for a, a you know a medium medium weight rod, 
you wouldn't get that. You wouldn't be able to load up the rod and you wouldn't be able to get that energy to, to smash the lure out. With a rod like this, it's, it's so easy. You can, you can fire them absolutely miles. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily think that with, a, with a, a jig head and lure combination of that weight. But that all comes down to having the right tackle. In addition to the rod, I've got a, a thousand size Warrior 2, Fox Rage Warrior 2 reel. Two and a half would fit on this, fine, but why make it heavy? You, you're only going to be carrying a small amount of braid, a small amount of low diameter braid, so you don't need a, the small size of a two and a half. And th these rods weigh hardly anything, so why overburden them with a two and a half size? You know, you'd be doing lots of casting, lots of moving around, make it nice and easy for yourself. So again, nice balanced tackle, the right tackle for the job. On the spool, we've got a real low diameter braid. I think it's seven pounds. So, you know, that's important for, for two reasons. The first, the, the sensitivity, you want to feel everything. And also the presentation, when you've got a light lure and JK combination falling through the water, if you've got like thick 20 pound braid, that's going to balloon or parachute up and it's going to affect the, the presentation. You've got a lower diameter braid like this, it's going to cut through the water and you're going to get a better presentation as that lure falls and that better presentation will, fingers crossed, bring you, bring you more bites. As a lure angler, you'll probably have already seen, heard about, or even used our ultra UV lures in your own fishing. But why do they work so well? What's it all about? It's a very good question. In the shops, on the shelves, they look very bright and flashy. If you've used one of the UV torches over it, they show up really well. But that's what we see, so what do the fish see? That's the most important thing, and what makes them uh, the lure to use to catch fish. It's all about light levels. So today, uh, the light levels have changed quite a lot from bright uh, as the cloud cover came over to, to quite dark and the UV laws at that point make a big difference. So it's all about the light waves and the length of the light waves and the, how they enter the water and hit the lure. So what we see is, is the normal spectrum of, of uh, colours uh, from violet up to about green I think it is. But past that you've got different wavelengths that go through the water and hit the lures. The colours that we offer, there's four in the packs here. You've got the lemon tiger, which is possibly the, the brightest and most UV reactive, stickleback, pink candy, and then a UV perch. They're all great colours uh, and they offer different things, but what they all specifically offer within these packs is their UV reactiveness. So when they're under the water, you'll see the pink, but what you won't see is the ultra UV light going in and hitting these lures, and they stand out a lot better than just a non-reactive colour. And why does that matter? That matters because what predators or what triggers predators is contrast and movement. So the contrast of these UV laws on a darker background. So if you're at the back here, when the cloud covers over and the water goes a bit darker because of the light levels, you'll have this thing shining out and offering a massive contrast between the background and the foreground. Mix that in with the actions of the laws. So like I said earlier, they're all paddle tails. You've got the spiky. You've got the tiddler fast, micro tiddler fast, and then also you've got a grub tail with a micro grub. They all offer lots of action uh, when, they're, when they're jigged or even when they're drop shotted. So that in combination with the contrast, with the UV aspect, makes them the perfect target for, for perch to, to hit. We also now offer the mini fry, which is a slightly larger lure, but brilliant, absolutely bob on for perch, really, really good. We offer that in the ultra UV colors as well. Only three in this, and with the lemon tiger, as you see, we've got that red tail, which is a great target point for, for perch to hit. When that's wobbling in front of their face, they love to hit it. So give those a try. They're, like I said, they're not, they're not quite micro laws. They're slightly larger than the, the micro law ranges, but give those a go as well. They work exactly the same way with the, the ultra UV reactiveness under the water. So we've just moved round, the, uh, the marine is shaped like a big horseshoe, we were on the far side over there. We started there because it was in the shade uh, with the sun over that way. They've got a big building on this side and we were in, in the shade that side, so obviously a good spot for, for perch. We've had quite a few over there, nothing massive, 
Um, although we have seen some decent perch, we just haven't caught them. We've caught, you know, probably up to about half a pound. We also hooked that pike, which nearly gave me a heart attack. It's a shame we didn't, I don't know, I'd like to have seen how big that was. The take on it was absolutely spectacular, but also scared the hell out of me. <laughs> but yeah, great, great experience, great fishing. So yeah, we've moved around this side now just because that's dried up a little bit. And, and there's a few pike milling around. I don't want to have that happen again with a, a fish taken. So if we can avoid that, we will. So we've come around this side. It's a lot more open this side. Uh, less weed as well, which is good. There's a lot of weed over there. So we were fishing over the weed and a few fish come off as we, I was bringing them through the weed and they, they just get caught up on the weed, transfer the hook onto the, onto the big strands that were up in the water and then the fish came off. So away from that, we'll see what we can do this side. There are a few boats which are offering a little bit of uh, shade. So I'll do a little bit of dibbling, especially there's one just here. We can dibble up and down the side, see if there's anything lurking in the shade underneath those. I also think it's a little bit deeper out in the middle, so it'll be I'll be casting around there, see what there is. I know there's a slipway as well just behind me, which goes into the water, a big concrete slipway. And that offers a ledge on the far side. There's a fair bit of my tackle over there over the years. I've lost quite a lot of jig heads and stuff on that, on that ledge. But there's also always a fair few bait fish just hang on that side because they're protected on one side by the ledge. So the perch will be up and down there. So we will see what we will see. Still on the uh, lemon tiger micro micro fry which is we've had quite a few fish on as well as the micro tiddler they've both worked very very well so the uv the ultra uv aspect of it might be less prominent on this side because of the the amount of light in the shade these things these things really shine out they do to our eyes anyway and i'm assuming they do to the fish uh, when there's a lack of uh, lack of light getting through the water but over this side, they might not be as effective in terms of their UV properties, but the actual actions on these, on these micro laws is, is fantastic. So I'm sure they'll still catch fish. So we'll see.